What's good, my powerful people? Back at y'all with another video. Now, before we hop into the topic, make sure you drop a sub down below. Make sure you drop a like on the video. Make sure you follow me on all my socials. And make sure you get the ebook, 10 Things That Define Every King. Link is in the description. Now, today we're going to talk about the easiest way to make her lose attraction. You want to understand why she flaked on you? You want to know why she just left you? You want to understand why the dynamic just switched up all of a sudden? Why she stopped hitting you up? Why things were good in the beginning? And then it just turned into nothing? You get what I'm saying? Why the conversation just got dry and dry and dry and she just left you alone? Why she stopped respecting you? The list goes on. The easiest way she will lose attraction to you is by you being too needy. By you being all up over her. You know what I'm saying? But let's break it down a little bit. Just, just to, let me give you the direct example of exactly what I'm talking about. It's a new woman, bro. You know what I'm saying? It's a new woman on your radar. You're determined to, you know what I'm saying? You're determined to get this woman. You gonna bag her. You know what I'm saying? And there's no denying it. You already know. You know what I'm saying? Everything's been set up right. So fast forward a little bit. You, you get her. Y'all set up something. You know what I'm saying? You shoot your shot. You make your shot, of course. Y'all set up some type of link, some type of date, whatever the case may be. So now when it comes to the point where you get inside these guts, this is what happens. You get inside, right? You know what I'm saying? You get inside. You do what you're supposed to do. So so to this, you know what I'm saying? With, with the example that I'm giving, you you got some game. You know what you're doing. So you you know what I'm saying? You didn't you didn't shot your shot. Y'all didn't link. You didn't got inside the guts. You did what, you did everything you were supposed to do. Up until right after you got inside the goods. This is what this is what most dudes will do. You have to learn how to pull back, bro. The pullback method is your best friend. Let me tell you this, bro. You know what I'm saying? Let me tell you this. This is the pullback method. The pullback method is this. When you get inside the goods, pull back. I don't care if they the best gut shooting ever been in. Pull back. Because women, no, women are not. This, this is what y'all don't realize. Women are not dumb. Women have preconceived notions. Women have expectations going into certain interactions because they've been dealing with a certain number of men. So they understand that majority of men are simps, right? So they're expecting you to act a certain way after you get the goods. So they expect you to act like every other dude. You know what I'm saying? They're expecting you to act like the dudes that are in her DMs. She's expecting you to act like this simp. So this is what majority of men will do. They get inside the goods. It's sweet. It's warm. It's watery. You know what I'm saying? It's everything that you want. It's exactly what you thought it was going to be, right? Now, first and foremost, since you don't have any options, this is a reason that this could happen. But you just start chasing her. You just start falling for her. As soon as you get inside the goods, the next day you texting her. How you, you know what I'm saying? Good morning, beautiful. How would you sleep? Have a good day. Blowing her phone up. When can I see you again? I had a good time last night. And that is just like every other dude, bro. You have to stand out. Every other dude got inside them goods and they just started simping. They just started pedestalizing her. They like, oh my gosh, this is the one for me. This is gonna be my girl. I'm gonna, I'm gonna lock her down. You know what I'm saying? She, that's what she want. I mean, that's not, I ain't gonna say that's what she want cause she don't want that. But that's what she expects coming. You know what I'm saying? She sees that coming from a mile away. To a certain extent, she can already tell by how y'all interacted before you even hit, how you gonna act after you hit. So you have to learn how to pull back, bro. Why is it to the extent that you get inside and then you just you just lose self-control? You know what I'm saying? Because it's like this, bro, that, that, that shows that you don't know what you're doing. That shows that you don't get any women. When you get inside, you're supposed to treat, bro, this is just another woman. You have to have the abundance mind, so you have to treat her like she's. You have to treat her like she's average, bro. The ones that you like the most, you get what I'm saying? Because there's nothing wrong with liking what you just did to her. There's nothing wrong with liking, you know what I'm saying? The guts. There's nothing wrong with it, or maybe she drains you. There's nothing wrong with liking it. Of course, you are a man. Of course, that's what you like. But bro, every other dude is blowing her phone up after they get inside. You know what I'm saying? Every other dude is trying to instantly trying to link again, trying to double back. You know what I'm saying? So what you're supposed to do as the man is let her do the let her do all the work. You pull back. Even better, you know what I'm saying? You dug her out and you didn't even bust, so she's already gonna be thinking about you. You all you gotta do is simply just pull back, bro. The pull back method is your best friend. 
because now she's going to be the one thinking about you. She's going to be the one hitting you up. She's going to be the one ready to see you again. When can I see you again? When can we, when can I pull, can I pull up? Can we go on, can we go on another date? Whatever the case may be, she's going to be the one showing all the concern. But when the roles are reversed, when you act like every other dude, when you're doing all this unnecessary pursuing, she's going to lose attraction because it's like, that just shows that you don't get any other women. That just shows that you have no type of self-control. That just shows that you pedestalize what's down there in between our legs. It's easy. It's easy to read these types of things because y'all think women are dumb. Y'all think that, you know what I'm saying, that she just lives in La La Land. To a certain extent, she does, but women are not dumb. She sees this type of game coming, but when you stand out, when you pull back, it shows that you're not, you're not phased. You getting inside the guts does not change anything about your life. Your day, you know what I'm saying? You still gonna go on about your life. That's gonna reel her in when it's just like, when you treat her like she's average, when you just treat her like she's nothing, when you're not phased by what just what you just did to her because that's what you do. That's the type of lifestyle that you live. That's just every day. That's just every day for you. That's routine for you. You gotta learn how to pull back. You gotta learn how to take her off the pedestal. You gotta learn how to take the coochie off the pedestal because it has no value in it. When you do everything you're supposed to do in that bedroom, bro, or wherever y'all let, you know what I'm saying? When you do what you're supposed to do and you just simply pull back, you going to stand out because it's going to be like, what's like, what, like, what is it? Like, is it me? Like, what is, what is it about him? I like, because especially bro, the better she is, the better it's going to work because she's used to all this attention. She's used to simp, she's used to do simping all over, drooling, you know what I'm saying? Bowing down to her, just begging at her knees. She's used to that type of activity. She's used to these weak men, but she deep down inside, she craves this man that's just going to dominate her and just, you know what I'm saying? Like just not really just care. She's craving this masculine man who's just in control of his life, who doesn't put the coochie on a pedestal, who just knows that I, I know what I'm going to do to you and, and nothing's going to change. You, you got to prove to me why I should mess with you. You got to prove to me why I should link with you again. Because me just getting inside your guts isn't enough. What else can you do for me? How can you bring peace into my life? How can you make my life easier? A man with that type of mindset, she going to always run back to you, bro. You're not going to have to do nothing. You putting the odds against you when you just chase her, simp over her, blow her phone up. The next day or the next week, you instantly trying to just, you so greedy, you so little jittery and needy, you so ready to get back inside the guts. It shows that you don't get any women. It shows that you don't get any play. So you think that she gonna want to come back to you when you act like everybody else, when you don't know how to act after you get inside? No, that's gonna turn her off. That's gonna make her lose attraction because it's like, I thought he was the one. He had so much potential, but he just like everybody else. Oh, I already know what type of guy he is. I know I, I, I can be able to control him. Every, you know what I'm saying? It's it's a certain value within the woman. It's a certain mindset within the woman. Certain women, they, after you, when you show that type of action, when you show that type of activity towards them, that type of emotion towards them, they're going to use that against you and they're going to try to control you. There's women like that, but then there's also women who are like, I'm not even going to waste my time with him because I see where this is going to go. Nine times out of 10, you got to understand it like this, bro. Because that's not just enough. You cannot just be digging inside the guts, bro. There's gonna come a point in time when she's gonna ask, where's this going? What are we? We need to take a break from this so we can get to know each other better. Those types of things are gonna happen. Because she's gonna get, she's gonna, that's when she starts to like you, bro. When she starts to like you, she's gonna want more than just your dig and stick. But when it comes to the point where you get inside, you go crazy and you lose your mind, she's not gonna wanna come back. She's not gonna wanna link with you again. There's no mystery about you. You're just like everybody else. But when you pull back, when you hit it with the pull back method, bro, it's like, okay, there's something more about him. There's something that intrigues me about him because he's different, different. There's some type of mystery about him. It's just to the point where it's like, you just manhandled her, you dominated her, but then it's like, it didn't phase you at all because you didn't even hit her up. You just moved on without your life. It's cause it's to the extent that you cool with it. You got what you wanted. So it's like, anything going forward she's gonna have to prove to you why you should even give her the time of day because you don't pedestalize women because it's like i've been in the field enough i've been in the game enough to the point where that is nothing to me what you got down there is nothing to me what you got down there is no value how can you bring peace into my life how can you stimulate my mind can you teach me anything can you make my life easier what type of value can you bring into my life 
those types of things that's the type of mindset you that's when you take your step that's when you take your game to the next level but when it's to the point where all you want to do is just get inside the goods to a certain extent bro that's going to be a waste of time then because the, the, it's, it's going to hit a wall it's going to hit a wall you can't just do that all day you got to learn how to pull back you got to learn how to stop putting it on a pedestal treat the ones you like like the ones you don't like give her space and she starts to chase simple when you get inside, bro, don't instantly blow her phone up trying to link again. Let her come to you. Because if she comes to you, you know you did what you were supposed to do. And you know that there's genuine attraction. You know that it's on and popping now. You know that she's got to prove herself to you at this point. But when you're ready to submit to her after you get inside, it's like, oh, yeah, you're ready to submit to her. You're ready to follow her program. You never want to be like this. You want to be the man that just stands out. You want to be the man that's just not faced because... It don't matter if she a baddie or not. You treat her like she average. You treat her like she's nothing. Because how is that making your life easier? How is that making your life better? There is no value in that. But when you pedestalize it, you're just like everybody else. That's how y'all get ghosted because you're doing too much. Too quick. You're doing too much. It's like as soon as you get inside, you fall in love with her. Do you, th do you honestly think that that's what she wants? That's how you're supposed to be having her. When you just pull back, when she don't even know how you feel, when she don't know, when she's thinking like, maybe there was something I did wrong to the point where he don't want to talk to me no more. So now she's going to come back. Now she's going to show more concern. Stop being this overly needy dude. It just shows that I don't, you're screaming. When you blow her phone up, as soon as you get inside, you're screaming. I don't get any women. I don't get any play. I don't know how to act. I'm a simp. I'm a weak man. I put the coochie on a pedestal and it's just like, you. Just, I'm ready to bow down to you. That's what you're saying. When in reality, bro, shouldn't phase you. You do what you're supposed to do and you go on about your life because that does not make your life easier. Every woman can, you know what I'm saying? Every woman has that. There is no value in that. How is she making your life easier? How is she bringing more peace into your life? What type of value does she have? What is her mind like? What is her personality like? What is she doing in her own life to make sure that she's on point, that she's taking care of herself? You get what I'm saying? Those types of things, that's the type of questions that you gotta ask yourself. And she will answer those questions for you when she pursues you, when she hits you back up, when she starts to chase you and you don't give her the time of day. When you're on your grind, so you don't, there is no way that you can give her the time of day. You just talk to her when you're free. You talk to her when you're available. Piece by piece, you're feeding her scraps. So little by little, you're just giving her a little bit of what she want. Just a little bit of what she want. Just a little bit of what she want. You think she ain't gonna keep coming back, bro? She already attracted to you. You, were, you already did what you're supposed to do. So you think she's not going to keep coming back, bro? But think about it as if the rose was reversed and you just overly pursuing her. You all over her back, ready to see her again as if she's, as if like, that's the last woman you're going to ever meet in your life. Like, why are you, why do you, why do y'all act like that? It's, it's never that serious. It's never that serious. I don't care how good it is. It's never that serious, bro. You have to calm down. You have to understand. All you got to do is pull back. All you got to do is just treat her like she average. She's used to being pedestalized she's used to being treated like a queen a princess she used to do is just gawking over her just bowing down just getting big out over her but when you when none of that phase you when you not you know what i'm saying when you when you stand out when you're not that type of man when you a masculine man with an abundance mindset it's like i don't you know what I'm saying? i don't care about none of that what, what can you do for me that's the type of mindset you gotta have stop being weak bro stop stop putting her on a pedestal it, it, it's not worth it you're going to ruin your own chances by just being too needy. You have to understand, how, like, bro, there's more to life than that. You know what I'm saying? There's more to life than just getting inside goods all day. You got to be willing to let her do the work. You got to be willing to hold yourself to a higher standard to the point where you're not proving yourself to the woman. You're proving yourself to the woman because you have you have no you have no type of value. You don't bring anything to the table to the point where she's a you know, that you can attract her and reel her in. So you got to just throw stuff out there to convince her. That's not how you want to be. You want to just sit back and let the game unfold. You want to sit back and just let the game come to you. It's much easier that way. You control it that way. You want to be in control of the dynamic. You want to be in control of the situation. You cannot do that when you always chasing her, when you always worried about what she got going on, when you worried about when you can get inside again. No, you're just like everybody else. She's going to cut you off. She's going to ghost you. Nine times out of 10, y'all are not even going to link again. But if you want her to keep coming back to you, if you want her to keep chasing you, bro, just simply pull back. Shoot her like she average. It's as simple as that. She gon' she gonna always be thinking. She gonna be like, but then that's that plays into her game, bro. Cause she gonna try and get you to submit. So the next time, it's gonna be even better.
You know what I'm saying? She gonna bounce even harder. She gonna suck even harder. You know what I'm saying? That's what she gonna do. She gonna be telling you what you wanna hear. She may buy some, she may take you on a date. She may pay for the date. She's gonna be showing more concern. That's what you want. Because what can you do for me? Stop throwing things out there. Stop leading with things. You know what I'm saying? Let the game unfold. Let the game come to you. And it's much, much more easier. You can control the dynamic this way. That shows that it's genuine attraction. You get what I'm saying? Just, just play it cool, bro. Just, just play it cool. Be in your element. Be in, you know what I'm saying? Have a, have a calm, masculine demeanor about yourself. You're really not phased. It's almost to the extent that you don't even really care what she's talking about. You know what I'm saying? That's just going to make her just like, what do I have to do in order to get him? What is making him so different? Why is it so hard for me to just get him to break? But she's going to try this and she's going to try that. She's going to say this and she's going to do this. But you just will not fold. So you gonna always keep her coming back, cause you just you're not you're not attached, you're not emotionally there. It's just like whatever, you know what I'm saying? It's just like you're not phased. It's just like you're replaceable. You have no value. What can you do for me? That's how you want to be, man. So really embody this, bro. This is how this is how you mess yourself up. Because as soon as you get inside, as soon as you do what you want to do, bro, you just go crazy. You just lose your mind. Pull back. Let her come. Let just start letting the game come to you. You're going to understand how easy it is. You're going to understand how you can just see the court. You get what I'm saying? You can just see the plays. You can see everything unfold. So you can control and make the best decisions. Like says, bro. You get what I'm saying? You got to make strategic moves. But it's easy when you just let everything come to you because now you have time to assess the situation. Now you got time to see. Should I really even engage anything else with this woman? Should I really even allow her? You know what I'm saying? Should I even link with her again? Should I even give her the time of day? That type of thing. But she's thinking about that when you acting like her, when you doing all the chasing, when you doing all the pursuing. You're too needy. Stop being so needy and just let the game come to you. Simple as that. Learn how to just pull back, bro. This ain't something you use every single time. This is something you use in a strategic manner, bro. You get what I'm saying? When you can tell that you got her vulnerable, when you can tell that she's liking you, when you can tell that she's confused, that she's mysterious, that she's trying to figure you out, pull back. Simple as that. When she thinks she got you, when she think, you know what I'm saying? When she thinks she got you wrapped around her finger, when she thinks that you start to get comfortable, when she thinks that the game is over, pull back. Simple as that, bro. Apply this game to your arsenal. You know what I'm saying? You going to know by just going through experiences, interacting with different women, you going to understand when to use this and when not to use it. You get what I'm saying? Because you don't want to overly use this too much because you're going to run her off like that because it's like, he don't like me at all. So it's like, I'm wasting my time now. So you got to be strategic when you do it. But you never want to be the overly needy type of dude to the point where you simping and bowing down and it's like, oh my gosh, it's so amazing. Stop it. Stop it. Learn how to pull back, bro. Know when to use it. Be strategic. Be mysterious. Be unpredictable. You, she never know when you're going to pull back. That's why she always coming back. That's why she always trying to do more. That's why she always trying to bounce harder. All you got to do is just pull back. Don't let that phase you. Stop pedestalizing and then put it down there. What can she do for you? That's what you got to ask yourself. What can she do for you? What is the value within this woman? What is her mind like? These types of things. What's between her legs? No value. Simply learn how to pull back. If you want to maximize, if you want to keep her coming back, if you want to keep her attached to you, if you want to keep her thinking about you, learn how to pull back. Simple. If you like this video, like, comment, subscribe, and I'm out.